¿Qué tal amigos de Wish? Estamos aquí con Ted McElroy, que es eh, de la tienda de Obi Store de Nokia, que nos va a platicar un poquito precisamente de ya el lanzamiento oficial localizado o regionalizado de la Obi Store para México. Hi uh, Ted, uh, how are you? I'm doing well. So I'm Ted McElroy, I'm the media sales manager for the Americas for Nokia. So I manage our Obi Store and game um, sales efforts. Um, throughout Latin America and in North America, so from Chile to, let's say, uh, Canada. What we're really trying to build is a lot more local content for the Mexican consumer here in, in the marketplace. And there are a number of ways that we're doing this. So we actually have a development community, this forum, Nokia development community, that actually is launching a number of different tools into the marketplace in the next few months that actually will help the, the local developer here in Mexico go out and very easily and simply develop an application and publish it much more quickly. Yeah, so currently we have about 1.7 million applications downloaded every day from the Obi Store. Um, the overall downloads has, is approaching or exceeded 200 million downloads um, already since we've launched Obi Store. So we're starting to build some significant numbers and the momentum is increasing. We're starting to see the growth um, accelerate. Nokia is an open platform. I think you already see, especially on the music front, I mean, we have Spodtronic. We have a lot of competing music applications already in the storefront. We're actually working with some of those partners to link back into our OB store. So I really see it more of a, a partnership and integration into some of our services. We, we believe that we're building some very compelling solutions and services that, that are going to be best in class and people are going to want to, to use those more than some others. But um, anybody, it's an open, it's an open platform. Um, other than unless you're touching some sensitive APIs of maybe an operator, you might bump up against some of the operator restrictions. And then, of course, like pornographic content and things like that. I mean, there are content guidelines that are very well published, but um, hey, if, if you have a good application, we're not going to keep it from our consumers. In terms of revenue for the developers, I mean, how is it going to work? We've had to do it a little bit differently, and it's actually kind of complicated just based, because of all the different agreements we have with the different operators around the world, right? So Apple doesn't seem to have those issues, right? They don't give any of this money to anybody except themselves and to the development community. But to do some of the billing integrations, which we think is a key thing, the operator is going to be getting some of this money. So what we're actually doing is we're making deals directly with the developers, right? And so what we end up doing at the end of the settlement period is we go and aggregate whatever was spent across the globe on that developer's application based on the terms that we've agreed with that developer. So it's up to a developer to develop the terms with Nokia, and we try to make those um, as market competitive as possible. It depends on you know where we are in the, in the scale, but um, we think it's a, it's a different model than what some of the other guys are doing. So it depends on the developer. I mean, the developer and the right, application. Right, right. So you, it's like here in Mexico, you might have a local developer, and he would get a relationship with us, um, and, and those rev new share terms would, would be developed based on that. We were actually just talking yesterday uh, about an event here in Mexico. We're just now trying to actually set that date. We're looking at either early June or in August sometime to actually have a, a development or a developers forum right here in, in Mexico City. Just go out and try go out and try the store. It's actually a great experience.